guys so today is another get ready with me little talk through video so first things first i do want to say that in this video i am going to be using my new sigma brushes um i forget i'm in the mirror so there we go my new sigma brushes i am officially an affiliate with sigma so i will have my link down below along with a coupon code for you guys that saves you guys 10% off. So the link, coupon code, all that will be down below if you guys need to order brushes or want to order any brushes. Sigma is such a good brand. I have used them, but I only have a couple of their brushes. Um, but I have been very blessed enough that they sent me some brushes and now I have a coupon code for you guys, which is awesome. So this is perfect, especially since the holidays are coming up. These are great like stocking stuffers and stuff. This um, F80 Kabuki flat top brush is probably one of my favorite brushes. If I'm not using a um, sponge to apply my foundation, I'm always going in with the F80. So this is probably one of my favorite brushes, hands down by Sigma. I just went in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Color Corrector. I'm just going to blend that out, cover up the dark circles, and it's in the color peach. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and this is the original, the OG, and this I have to say is probably one of my favorites. It is a silicone base. Um, it is oil free, but it just makes your skin feel like legit, like a baby's butt. I don't know how else to put it, but that's how it is. So I'm filming this video the very, very, very beginning of October. I don't know when this video will be going up. I am trying to like stockpile because, um, my husband is going to be off for two weeks. I cannot wait. And then my kids are off for one week inside October. So I am going in with this foundation right here. If you guys saw in one of my day in the life of vlogs, I went over to Ulta and um, one of the girls helped me out. This is a water-based foundation. And I just wanted something that was like lightweight that was um, gonna cover but kind of... Um, conceal what I need it to conceal. So I have been using it for the last week and um, it works pretty good. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. She did recommend to go in with a brush on this one. So I have been using my Sigma F80 brush a lot more. So all I'm gonna do is take the foundation and place it around my face. And then some down my neck just to make sure everything is matching. Um, but I've been trying to go ahead and pre-record a lot of stuff. So then I can just enjoy my time with my husband and my kids. My kids are going to be off for a week as well. They have like a fall break over here. And so that is what i'm doing and then i wanted to make sure that i have enough videos for after the two weeks that my husband is off um so that i'm not like oh my god i have no videos for like the next like two weeks or whatnot so i'm sure this video will be going up at the very probably mid october ish to later october but I wanted to do like a little bit of a fall look. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the color 25. And I'm gonna place that around there. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape um, Concealer. I just put a little bit, I got this a little too light, so I like to use the Fit Me Concealer and then just do a couple dots of this. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender, or um, the Royal Techniques Miracle Sponge and just blend that out. So what is your guys' favorite thing about fall time? I'm just happy that it's not stinking hot like it is here. 
but I'm used to it. That's exactly how California was, where we're from. I think that's why we like enjoyed Virginia so much was because like we got the different like fall time and just the different stuff that you know like actually four seasons <laughs> so that was really really nice I am gonna go in with my Luxie tapered highlighting brush I actually use this to go in underneath my eyes I did order some more Sigma brushes that I did pay for on my own <laughs> so um, once I get those in I'll have like everything Sigma. Sigma is like a really really great brand and I'm really excited to be associated with them now. Um, of course I can use other brushes too and I will always have like affordable options for you guys. Sigma is one of the best makeup brushes on the market. They just are. They always happen. Every beauty guru that you see, Sigma brushes. Um, because they're just the best so I try and take care of my brushes so my brushes really do last a long time so it's kind of like a one-time investment um, that you need to do so like I said it's perfect for holidays and Christmas season and presents and stuff like that so all I did put on my face was the Cody Air Spud loose and powder and what is this translucent um, extra coverage. Now I'm going to go in with a Sigma Large Powder F30 brush and this is just a big fluffy brush to put on the rest of my face powder. I'm using the Stay Super Stay Better Skin um, by Maybelline. So I'm just going to take some of that just place it around. And now I'm going to go in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. Um, and then I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush by EcoTools. Now I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Carly Bybel Palette. And I'm going to mix these two middle shades together. Um, as a highlighter so what I'm gonna do is take the Sigma angled large angle contour brush the F40 and I'm just going to dip a little bit in both mix them together and then go on the top of the cheek I like to do my bronzer first and then go in with the highlighter and then bring it all together with the blush I've been noticing that this brush is picking up a lot more of the highlighter than my other brushes, so that's really good. So I feel like the product is going to go a longer way. Put some on the tip of my nose because you guys know I love that. Now I'm going to go in with Sigma Eye Shading Brush in E55, and then I'm just going to take a neutral, just cream color, and place that all over the eyelid. Now I'm going to go in with their E40. This is a blending brush. It is like a real like good fluffy one, but yet it's firm all at the same time. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to go in with the third color in and it is called Silk Cream, I believe. Yeah, Silk Cream, which is right there. And we're just going to use this as a transition shade. So all the colors will blend in nicely together. Now since we are doing a full look, I am going to build up the colors. So we're just starting off with this one and we're going to add some colors to it to create some depth to the eye. So now I'm going to go in with Pukey, which is this color right here and work that just right over the silk cream creme silk creme <laughs> that we had put on before so now i'm going to go in with a little bit more of a small tapered brush and this is the morphe m139 and i'm going to go in with the color roxanne which is this color right there and we're just going to place that right 
a little bit lower than where we placed the other two eyeshadows. I'm just gonna blend that in. And I barely touched it in the palette, my brush. I just wanted to get a little bit of that kind of um, fall, rusty kind of auburn color. And now I'm gonna go in back with that Sigma brush that we used prior, back in with a little bit of pukey. And we're just gonna make sure everything is blended together. And now going back in with the Morphe brush and a little bit more of Roxanne, we're just building up the colors and the intensity in that crease. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the color right next to where we used Roxanne. It is the next one over. I'm hoping I don't need to spray this with Fix Plus or anything like that, but. So we're gonna take that, pack it on, and just put this right on the eyelid. You know, let me grab my Fix Plus to wet it. So I'm just taking the Max Fix Plus and just wetting the brush. And that's just gonna help the color be a little bit more vibrant on the eye. Now I'm gonna take the little tiny, tiny brush and by e.l.f. and I'm gonna take this top color right here. This one is in light. And I'm going to highlight the top of the brow bone along with the inner corner with that. Now I'm gonna go back in with the E40, nothing on there, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended. There are no harsh lines. Now what I'm gonna do is take a pencil brush, and this is the E30, and I'm just gonna put all the colors that I put on the upper lid right down at the bottom. And instead of going in with that like sparkly color that we used that was right next to Roxanne, I'm gonna go in with a dark brown and just put that just on the outer part of the eye. Now I'm gonna be trying out a product by L'Oreal Paris. It is the Brow Styl Stylish Shape and Fill Brow Pencil. I have to say, I usually use the NYX uh, Micro Pencil and I like this fully better. It just feels like um, tougher, I guess. Oh. <laughs> this feels a very, very light. This feels like it's gonna get in there and brush out the brows. So I think I'm still gonna be using that spoolie, but let's see. Looks good, looks good. Okay, you guys, so I went off camera and just did my eyeliner and mascara, and I just used eyeliner, um, the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I'm gonna go in with MAC uh, Blush in Format, which is a, it seems really, really dark, but it, it doesn't come off that dark on the cheek. Alrighty, you guys, this is the final look. The lips are Essence Soft Berry and then Urban Decay Insanity. All the links to the products will be down below for you guys. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.